the new constitution has been approved in Tunisia. It grants unchecked powers to the office of the country's president, Kais Saeed. Preliminary results show over 94% voted yes in the referendum, but turnout was low at some 30%. Monday's vote came a year after the president uh, sacked the government and suspended parliament. For more on this story, here's Fadil Ali Riza reporting. We had seen some early um, uh, polling from a private firm uh, suggesting that the vote would be 93% uh, in favor almost. And uh, with the final, well, these are still preliminary results, but they are official results from the, uh, from the electoral board saying that it's uh, close to 95% who voted in favor of the new referendum. Uh, that said, uh, as you mentioned, the turnout was, uh, was uh, quite low. Uh, actually, we've got revised numbers on the turnout. Um, initially, the turnout had been uh, just over 27%. Now they've revised it to just over 30%, which uh, some are pointing to may be symbolically important, uh, even though it is quite low. Of course, there, there, was, there was quite a sizable boycott campaign by most of the, the major political parties who had been calling rather to vote rather than to vote no to, to boycott it uh, that may have played a role here uh, it may have also been that uh, there there is widespread disillusionment with politics uh, uh, we've heard that from people who who, who have uh, talked to us and uh, saying that they they they, they don't they don't intend to vote uh, but nevertheless uh, uh, the president is still treating this as uh, a mandate uh, uh, on his uh, uh, project and uh, has, has said he'll continue to build on it with uh, changes to an electoral law for upcoming uh, elections uh, so far, we've seen the opposition really trying to call into question the legitimacy of the vote. They're saying that the, the low turnout really uh, doesn't uh, make the, the, the Constitution itself uh, legitimate. Uh, they've, they've sort of rejected the results. Uh, there's plenty of uh, legal challenges at their disposal still. Uh, they've said that they've, uh, uh, they'd like to, 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 to challenge some of the violations that have happened during this election. That includes breaking the, the, the law against campaigning uh, in the middle of uh, voting, uh, something the president actually did on national TV. He, he, he made a, a, a sort of a televised appearance on the day of voting just after he had voted, calling on people to, 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 to really support the Constitution. Uh, so far, we've seen the electoral body not be uh, sympathetic to those calls. They've said that the, actually the president's TV appearance probably didn't affect people's votes. Uh, but but nevertheless, the opposition will be looking at, at certain legal challenges for the moment. And uh, barring that, we'll have to see how they decide uh, going forward, whether they'll, they'll particip participate in uh, the, uh, the electoral processes that are laid out by this constitution. We hear that there's supposed to be elections uh, this December for a new parliamentary body and a second uh, legislature, uh, legislative body as well. Uh, the question is whether the opposition will participate in those. That was Fadil Ali Riza reporting there from Tunis earlier.